Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We are not in Foundry at the moment. Um, in the previous video, we were building Curse of Strahd and we were looking specifically at the Mysterious Visitors, our first actual scene in the Adventure Campaign series. Um, and we were playing with some images and getting them to fade in and fade out and stuff and everything's looking nice. But there was a bit of a question mark over some of our icons or our images having very harsh borders. Now in the video prior to that, when we were um, just demonstrating the um, bit of software that we can use to remove the backgrounds from images, um, a couple of people mentioned a couple of other things that we could use. Uh, Paint 3D directly in Windows, um, that can do that job as well. Personally, I don't find that, it does the job. I don't find it as easy and as nice. Um, and somebody also mentioned Lunapic, which is what you're looking at at the moment. Um, that's just at www.6.lunapic.com um, and I can just bring in images and edit them in here as well. Uh, not paid for, just, uh, just a web browser. Um, but there's some really funky stuff we can do in this which is really helpful, um, which is what I'm in here now. So one of the things we said about those hard edges around some of our images is a couple of things we could do, um, and apologies for not remembering um, who said what, um, but somebody a suggested about using Lunapic. I think there was a couple of people who suggested that uh, and somebody also mentioned about um, I said about p Potentially making our fire images into pure silhouettes and somebody mentioned about oh, can we just? Um, edit the photos to make the edges smoother blur them out a bit and I said yeah, of course we can we can just do that And then I thought yeah, but I better go find out how Because <laughs> I'm not an arty person um, Lunapic does it really nicely for us, nice and simple. So um, obviously this is our female gypsy here um, and you can see that around the edge of here we've got this checkerboard which shows that that is transparent, somewhat transparent and gives us a much smoother edge. So just to quickly show you how we do this, if I go to upload I can choose a file and I can choose any of my pictures that I want. Uh, let's pick these children for example. <coughs> it's just going to load that in. And here they are. Um, <coughs> oh, and of course, I've loaded the one in with the border I've already done. What a muppet. But under these borders here, there's a couple of things we can do. You can blur the border, which gives you this um, crisp inner outer with the outside of that blurred. Now, because I'm editing one that's already done, you can see we've got this kind of blurring effect around the edge that smooths off that line. That's quite nice, isn't it? Um, that's one way you can do it. Just go backwards and undo that. But the way that I have chosen to do it is using the uh, edge fade border, um, which literally makes that border transparent um, to a certain degree. Now, on this image at the moment, I've already got this border on size 20, but I can make that border bigger if I want to. And you can see the difference of how that's going to bring this transparency of this border further in. So it makes a much, much softer edge. Now, of course, you don't want to make it too large because you start to lose the definition. But if my focus was on this, this young lady right in the front here, I could bring that fade in much, much further and have a much more gentle, we're starting to lose around the edges here. Uh, we end up with a much more gentle kind of fade in towards the middle, leaving the focus on that face. You can still see the other children behind, but they're beginning, they're disappearing to the background. So it makes a really nice focal thing. So just so you know, that's what you can do, and you can use Lunapic to do that, and it really does help solve those hard edge issues. So jumping back to Foundry, what I've done is I've done three different versions of this scene to show you what we can do. Now let me make sure I'm on the one I want to be on. So what you're looking at now, this is Haley logged in as a player. So this is the scene that Haley can see. <coughs> Excuse me, do apologise. Um, and I've got my DM screen over in the other window. Let me unpause that so we get rid of that. So I've got my images here, I can click and here we go, we get uh, still got this slight issue where they on the first time, they just appear. They don't fade in the first time. But I've got my uh, my grumpy old man here with his quite harsh edge border on. And again, I can bring in those children uh, in and out just by clicking on those, um, those buttons that we created in the previous video. So I can phase those in and out. 
And for the fire, we had a similar thing where we got these, and they might not be aligned brilliantly. And these were the ones that were really concerning me with the, the hard edges. I felt that detracted from it, even though the images themselves are quite nice. But we can fade one in um, and bring the next one back. Um, I've got mine set to five seconds. Obviously, you can adjust that. See the previous video if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Uh, again, it's a real shame that the initial transition, it, it does a jump at the moment. Um, I'll have to see what we can do about that. So it works really nicely, but those edges are a little sharp. So what happens if we do the same thing, change scene, and we go to a version where I've updated some of those images with those softer edges? So again, we can bring in our main um, images at the top, and you can see these borders here are much gentler. Now again, I've got these faded out slightly anyway, even when they're visible, because I, I quite like that effect, because it's it's about aiding the imagination, not going smack, here's a poster. Um, so yeah, we can fade these in and out as we're going through the story and talking about them, it's quite nice. But what about the fire? Okay, so apart from the fact that that's going to ping in quite harshly, let's quickly set them all off. Um, now this one I did smooth the edges of, but it hasn't worked very well for this particular image. Um, I probably should have made the border much bigger, but you can see it better on a couple of these others where it's just it's not as harsh around the edge as it was. You can see very faint kind of fuzziness. Now of course I could increase that border and make that even more fuzzy, um, but it's certainly much much nicer than those really hard edges we had you know especially this one this one had a lot of black around the edge and it was really stark as we just saw so this is a much nicer much smoother um, view for the player of these images and i've tried to line them up to get the horse's feet in line with the people's feet as we kind of go through these so that's option two um, definitely this one we got up now at the moment the horse could do with some more f uh, more fuzzing around the edges to smooth that off even more. But I have a third option. Um, so we're over here again. Now these people at the top, they're the same with the fact that they've got that fuzziness around the edge, just how we would, uh, I think I'm happy with those, I like those. But with our images for the fire, what I wanted to do was to try just with the silhouettes. Now again, I'm gonna ping these all on just so that they, um, reset and fade in properly. So by removing all of the background this is now that image just of the guy on the horse. So we lose some of that detail from the background of that but this might actually be preferable because it's again it's just hinting at the story that is being told without actually adding too much to it. And then we can transition to the next one. As that one fades out the next one comes in and it's just that silhouette um, again in the fire where in theory the players are seeing these figures these ghostly figures in the flames themselves um, and then we can transition again to the last one again that one jumped yeah so those transitions would like them to all be really nice and smooth and we're just replacing now I did leave some of the background in on this one um, so yes we've definitely got the silhouette but it's not just the silhouette we've also got some of the the woods and stuff in the background i cut loads of bits out and just left some shadowy images there that kind of blends in a bit with the smoke anyway uh, and then i've added just for the sake of it added a button to get rid of it so there's three different ways we can do it all of them work and um, all very very similar it's just the fact we've manipulated those images to slightly change the way it works which is my favorite i think it's this one i think it's this one with the pure silhouettes I think this is probably what I'm going to go with. As much as I like the full images with the backgrounds, I think for this purpose, this is the way forward. So just demonstrate, obviously, you know, you do what you want with your games, um, but some relatively simple tools. We can make some edits to our images and it changes the whole kind of feel of it just by the way that we bring images in and out using various triggers, the speed that we do them, um, whether we're replacing over the top of each other. It's always this one that jumps in. It's very frustrating. Um, but yeah, there you go. Just sort of demonstrate that. Not too long a video, not really showing you too much new, just sharing some ideas of how we can go about doing the same thing in different ways. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.